A possible murder mystery finally solved. An elderly couple found dead in their burning Atlanta home last July after police say they were brutally strangled to death. And now their son is behind bars. Who would viciously attack this retired couple, 67-year-old Harry and 65-year-old Deborah Hubbard, and leave their bodies in this burning Atlanta home? Atlanta police say their own son did. 47-year-old Keith Sylvester. He's accused of strangling his parents to death with a cord and setting their home on fire. But what they thought was a tragic house fire turns out to be a double murder. 11 Alive first reported the story last July as a mystery murder. First responders found the Hubbard's bodies while fighting a raging fire in their modest home on Harville Drive Northwest. The Fulton County Medical Examiner later confirmed to 11 Alive that the Hubbard's were murdered before the fire by strangulation and thermal injuries. All of this is happening right next door. The retired couple often visited their home church in Buffalo, New York, where they used to live and work before retiring. The same month of their grisly murder, their son Keith Sylvester, who was not a suspect at the time, spoke with our sister station in Buffalo, saying, quote, my mother was a good mother. She was a grandmother. She's a veteran. She worked at Buffalo Veterans Hospital. Weeks and months went by without an arrest or a named suspect. But that all changed this weekend. Their son, Keith Sylvester, is locked up in the Fulton County Jail facing two counts of murder.